Hello everybody, my name is Tupus Blunt, and welcome back to the South Park Fractured Butthole Let's Play. And last time we defeated Chaos. Oh my and god, now I can't talk in... to you right now. I have a lot of shit going on. He's in jail right here. So we gotta sit down at the table and decide what we're gonna do with him. What if the person paying butters wasn't a kid? I is that it, Chaos? Were you paid by an adult? I'm telling you, I don't know his name, fellas. Nobody does. He's just trying to unite all the crime families in town. He's everywhere. He's nameless. Faceless. He can change his appearance like the wind changes direction. Wait, what did you say? He says there's a revolution coming, and the darkness of our own hearts will bring about our undoing. Oh my god. He, he is that which liberates, and he knows the true weakness of tolerance, and his coming will bring about a tide of chaos like nothing we've never seen you mention. Oh my god. Could it be? No, it's impossible. What's impossible? There's only one person I know of who can disguise himself so easily. And it's the same person who might have a motive for tearing South Park apart. Who? Mitch Connor. Mitch Connor? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Who's Mitch Connor? It's Carbon's dumbass hand puppet. You know damn well that Connor was just using my hand to suit his needs. At first, he disguised himself as Jennifer Lopez, who loves tacos and burritos. When his cover was blown, he was arrested by the police, but escaped. But why would he want to take down South Park? And where would he get all his money? Shut up! It's not Mitch stupid fucking Connor! How do you know? No, Kyle is right, you guys. It couldn't be Mitch Connor. Connor died in an oil rig explosion in northern Alaska. Fuck this. I'm going to bed. Yes, yes, good idea, humankind. Everyone get back to your homes. It's getting late. Let's all reconvene tomorrow. After skiing. And now, the news program starts your day off right. Good morning, South Park. The South Park vigilante struck again last night, this time at a meth lab in the downtown u Stort facility. Here with more is a midget in a fedora. Tom, six people were arrested last night after the vigilante exposed a huge meth lab in the storage facility behind me. Eyewitnesses have come forward with shocking reports that the vigilante's farts were so awful they seemed to actually rip the fabric of time. You ain't never heard a fart like this, man. He was like, one minute he farted on my dick, and the next thing, my dick was like 20 seconds in the past. Finally, someone is standing up to all the crime in this city. If you ask me, these people here all deserve to be farted on. He's a menace, if you ask me. How long before this vigilante gets radical and blows up a school or a church, huh? How long before Captain America becomes Captain Ideology? Huh? The third Captain America movie? How long was that? About six years? About six years! Dozens of protesters gathered outside the police station today as a warrant was issued for the vigilante's arrest. This city will not be victimized by mass crusaders who sneak around and fart on people at night. We urge all citizens to arm themselves and fight against this kind of rectal oppression. <sighs> yeah, it's me. Nobody knows anything about this kid. Not what race he is, not even if it's a boy or a girl. What do we do, sir? Just keep getting the product into people's drugs and alcohol. I'll handle the vigilante. This deal's getting out of control. You said you could get the mayor out of office. You wanted to be left alone, Commissioner. To do what you love doing. I've made that happen. Just stay calm and soon everyone will have exactly what they want. Now nah, we're wanted. You are the new kid, right? My name's Wendy. Nice to have you at our school. That little problem Call Girl told you about? It's a lot worse. The Chamber of Commerce wants to get rid of the vigilante no matter what it takes. You know the bathrooms in the park? Call Girl wants you to meet her there right now. Yeah, anyway, nice to have you in town, new kid. <laughs> Yay. <clears throat> See, you just spun around and different clothes came on. That's dumb. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I love it. <clears throat> anyway. Alright, so we should be incorporating new stuff. Ooh. New artifacts and stuff. It's like we're strength and 
Braun and Spent. Nope. Nope. Alright, we're sticking with the maximum jersey. Let's. Oh! Right, we can do this. I'm just realizing that some of the artifacts have, like, I can't really point it out, but it's like, to the left of all the the stats, there's like, bonuses that I'm just like, noticing are a thing. Like, I think this is like, 15% more recharge, or ultimate recharge, maybe, than this does. I can't tell. 2% more something, but it looks like plus 42% knockback? Huh. Just realizing that. Wait a second. Okay, no, we're good. I need all Kuhn and friends to report to the Kuhn lair. Repeat, all Kuhn and friends, report to the Kuhn lair. Yes, Cartman. I need to get somewhere very quickly. Dude, we have to be 350. Luckily, I'm 354. <laughs> Let's see if we can actually craft something. Uh, we can get a level 80. Or 70s. Eh. Eh. It's alright. Cyber. Cyber Wolf. I don't know, considering that we're a speeder, speedster, we're speedster, cyborg, assassin. Yes, that's what we are. Okay, here's Farty Pants now. Come join us. Coon friends, these are dark times. We now know for a fact that Scrambles the Missing Cat is part of a larger conspiracy. We also know that the fucking Freedom Pals have more information about this conspiracy than we do. Fact. Maybe we should just face it, guys. Maybe Freedom Pals have a better super franchise than we do. Hey, that's no way to talk, Mosquito. The only reason that Freedom Pals are ahead of us right now is because they're butt fucking cheaters who sold out! Yeah, but Freedom Pals have Dr. Timothy and he can read people's minds and bend reality. Yeah, because he just said that! When we made up our superpowers, he was like, Well, I have every power to do fucking everything. You think that's fair? It's time for us to be as dirty as them. We have to know what the Freedom Pals know. Well, how, how are we ever gonna get the help of the Freedom Pals? We send a spy. Someone in our group who pretends to want to switch sides and join Freedom Pals. Somebody who they don't know very well. New kid joins Freedom Pals, then asks for assistance investigating the community center. Hope the new kid is good at bullshitting. You'll never get past the security grids. They change it every day. I can get the new kid inside. I've got hacking abilities, remember? Because I'm a gadgeteer class with the tinkering ability. No dice, Chaos. You're just saying that to get out of jail. You better let him go. The new kid will need him. All right, fine. <laughs> get the new kid inside Freedom Pals base. Okay. If he tries anything funny, kill him. Okay, so now we have to go and pose as. Oh, we gotta go to Butter's house. But now we gotta pose as a Freedom Pal, and uh, yep, I think, I think it's, mm, I'm not gonna say. <laughs> uh, I 
Where the heck is Butters? Is how? Oh, he's right next door. Well, All right, you rip. ready to go to see Freedom Pals with me? Okay, come no. on, I gotta get my minions first. Paladin Butters, something. Crap. <laughs> hey, butthole! Anyone told you for a boy you're kind of pretty? Uh, no. You're about Wait, to what? The chamber of chaos, new kid. There's no way to unsee the horrors with it. I, uh, I don't know if he says that because of our gender or. I don't know if he says that because of our confusion on gender or something, but. I never noticed it. Butters. Your mom and I were worried sick. We could barely enjoy the movie we were watching. I'm sorry, Dad. I, I just my new friend and, 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 and really mean that. Sorry's not gonna cut it, mister. And you, what's your name? You gotta say something. You don't understand. I asked you a question. Who are you? Please, please don't do this. That does it. Butters, you are grounded, and so is your smart ass little friend. <laughs> <sighs> And so, Professor Chaos was locked away forever, and I... Huh. Well, I guess you can borrow my stuff, since we're teammates now. Looks like I'm grounded. I'm grounded again. Gonna shrivel up and die here. And so is my new friend, or I'm grounded. Mmm, I'm grounded. I forget how this ends. I found this out and I'm like, oh, we could do this. But we can't fly. So, that's a thing. Uh, <laughs> no use, new kid. When I'm grounded, there's no escape. Huh. Well, I guess you can borrow my stuff since we're teammates now. You better, butters. But the only time that you ever need to create craft for a mission, like hardly. Oh jeez, new kid. My dad's gonna be extra steamed if he knows you're busting up the house. Hey, what'd you make that for, new kid? What well, what do you think we should do? I'm not gonna get very far, but that's alright with the time we have left. What are you doing, new kid? Do you need to go to the bathroom? Oh! Oh, uh, geez, geez new kid, I, I don't know. Well, alright, but be careful with him. Yep. Well, your butt can do all kinds of cool stuff. Yep, because physics and logic, that's how this all works. But, but that's impossible. I grounded you. How could you be here right now? It, it wasn't me, Dad. It was a new kid. You have some kind of ability to unground people? Whoever you touch becomes ungrounded, is that it? Your evil magic is not welcome here, Darkling. Ah! Yep, now we get to fight Butters' dad. You're grounded! We kind of get like the healing touch like he does in the first doing, game. Hey, Dad, you, you may have noticed, but I'm kind of a superhero now. Chaos! Pretty sweet chaos, boy, huh, Dad? How many times have I told you not to play around with rock? 
energy. What the hell? I swear, I was just about to punch someone for the coon, Fart Lord. Hell yeah, I'm ungrounded. What do you think you're doing, kid? I have a really good feeling about this, guys. Get him. Get a lot of hell. Sorry, Dad. Now, if I hurt you, Dad, it's Professor Chaos doing it, not your son now. Spotter! Behave yourself or I'm gonna send you to live with your grandma! Oh, please, no! Yeah! Oof. Now are you ready to straighten up and fly right? I'm gonna ground that ungroundable kid even if I have to ground everybody! Oh, gosh! Fuck him up, Idaho! Why am I not using my ability to have a second turn? Oh my gosh, I am just realizing that and it is bugging me why I am not using my ability to get a second turn. Gosh darn it all. <laughs> God. No idea why I'm not using my secondary ability, but it's all right. Stand still and take your grounding. Poor Cartman. <laughs> that ought to knock some manners into you. Who will I ground next? Maybe all of you. Well, I'm sure I'm sorry about this, fellas. <laughs> Butters, you are shampooing the carpet after this. Okay, Dad. <laughs> Okay. Uh, let's do. Nope. Let's get our secondary attack in. Extra turn. There we go. Oops. I. How did I miss? Whatever. Uh. Actually, no, I want to save that for, uh. Butters' ult. Yeah, let's all just get out of the way. But he's going around every one of us, though. This doesn't make any sense. Why is he going around? Like, he's got his grounding perimeter, but they're, like, nowhere near us. It makes no sense whatsoever. Oh, come on! Whatever. Just accept that you're grounded! Butters, or get him back in here. What do you think you're doing, kid? And I can get back in the safe zone. Prepare to suffer, fools. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that. Butters, you're wasting electricity. Oh yeah, I guess so. Are you a hemophiliac? Let's find out. Your parents will hear about this. Quit running away from your grounding. 
Yep, there he goes by uh, Cartman. And stay grounded. I'll ground you. I'll ground you all. Ah, hamburgers. My hammer is ready to bring chaos to all who defy me. He has an he has the whole perimeter locked down. What the crap, man? Oh, you think you're clever, mister? Uh, no, sir, but I am a professor. <laughs> Victory! Damn it, butters, you're grounded for life! I, I am, but I don't feel grounded. Hey guys, I'm not grounded. I'm ungroundable. No! I gotta get out of here before my dad regains consciousness. Uh, huh? I just got the cr Phew. We must go now and infiltrate the Freedom Pals base. Meet me outside the Freedom Pals school for the gifted and talented. So, yeah, the way they're treating the Freedom Pals are kind of like X-Men. So Anyway, that's going to wrap up this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to drop a like on this video. And if you want to stay in tune with this Let's Play or any other Let's Plays in the future, or future content, I should say, rather, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification button. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.